So one of the things that the psychedelic philosopher Terence McKenna used to say is that the world is made of words. And if you know the words the world is made of, you can make of it whatever you wish. In other words, we come to understand and model reality through symbolic language so that everything ultimately is alphabetic. Everything is a construct of meaning, right? And this is a wonderful idea. So then it actually reminds us of the power of language to not just shape and inform the world, but transform the world in ways that are unfathomable. I mean, everything is alphabetic. Everything is intentionality. I mean, look at the pyramids of Egypt. Look at the skyscrapers and the jet engine. These are renderings of the human mind. We live inside of the condensation of human imagination. That's what the man-made world is. And so what does this tell us? Well, it tells us that better language can create better realities. And there was an amazing article in Nautilus magazine about how Shakespeare's inventive use of language actually stretched the membranes of our minds. Like literally, what he did in terms of how he patterned words, his inventive and elastic use of metaphor, literally changed our biochemistry, does something to the, to the dopaminergic reward system in our brain by hinting and cueing and building expectation and then delivering on that expectation so that actually we can measure why his language was so impactful about human beings, why to this day we still study Shakespeare, because his language literally acts as a kind of elasticity that stretches and remolds and rewires our brain. And so perhaps we can learn from Shakespeare and other geniuses of the pen and of the word, the power of oratory, the power of rhetoric, the power of language to instruct, author, and build new worlds for ourselves. That's what it's about language.